Hi, so we're here with Stephen Thompson and um, another attendee at our first London Studios uh, two-day training. How have you found it? It's been fantastic. It's been um, everything I expected it to be. The detail that we've, we've covered, we've covered, you know, all the topics that I want, I hope that we've covered. All right. Um, the, the, the things that I felt I needed to work on, um, and the information that I've got while I've been it, I've got something more to take away that I can work on. You know, work, when I get home and start trading again. I know you were very ex excited with that sterling at 146.95. Uh, sorry, 144.95. Uh, when we were talking about being short yesterday afternoon, yeah. you really, to me, you looked as if you started to know, you know, sterling yen going down, sterling dollar going down, you're getting the reaction between the currencies and the crosses. Well, I've just been discussing with, with Kashif over lunch, one of the big things that I've got to work on has been my entries. Right. And I felt before I came here that that was down to my poor recognition of cross-currency analysis. I mean, I knew to analyse them, but the price action... Um, and I was pleased yesterday when you know Kashif was talking about entry points, yeah. and, and, and he mentioned that it was down to cross currency analysis and price movement. So it kind of confirmed what I thought anyway, and that is the main thing I think I'm going to take away, take back home and work on. You know, mm -hmm. what's your t uh, what's your favourite trade at the moment? What ones were you doing at home? Is it fair to say the vanillas you find the easiest, or no, I not really? Not to be honest, uh, um, the, the trades that I find the easiest generally are reverse vanillas really? and bounce trades. I, I like 60-60s too. Um, so you are someone a bit like Cash then, who likes to be in a in a box, almost being able to see your, you know, the damage limitation. Whereas yes, so some I people mean, are scared by vanillas. They look at the clear roads and they think, oh my god, you know, this could go down a long way, but also I might be wrong. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think that's absolutely right. But I think the reason that I'm kind of a little bit afraid of the vanilla trade previously is that I've always looked at it from the point of view of, of kind of a one minute entry. But another thing that I've taken away from here is I think I'm going to go away. In fact, I know I'm going to go away and I'm going to, I'm going to practice different and I'm going to trade it. But off a five minute entry rather than one minute, I feel more comfortable with that, that I've got more security in the pack, you know. So the videos we played you, for example, from Sam, where he puts on something at the one minute, something at the five minute, that's really going to help you. Absolutely, soon we're down to the ground, you know, and, and, and take away a lot of my apprehension. Uh, regarding the vanilla trade. Excellent. Yeah. What are you wanting to get out of Forex? I mean, what, what's your life? You know, why did you choose Forex at all? Well, I was forced into a corner. Uh, not forced into a corner, but um, I was looking for something else to do. Um, something where, where I could please myself with, with regards to how often I did it. Um, but what's an attraction for, for, for myself is that it, it's obviously the, the first concern is the money. I want to make some money. But it, it's so flexible. You can do it from anywhere in the world. There's no infrastructure. As long as you've got a laptop and an internet connection, mm. you're trading, you know? Mm. Uh, and that's a big traction for me. How, how many hours a day are you sitting on our chat room? Oh, about ten. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but you still feel you've gone away from this physical course. I mean, you'd recommend to people who are on the chat room, never been to Miami, never been to Malibu, never been to London, get their ass to one of those places. The best way I can answer that question is, hopefully later this year, I myself am going to go to Miami, oh, even, right. even having been here. Right. Uh, but I'm saying I'm going to. I, I'd like to. We have a few that's... people who've done Miami and done LA, well, maybe on their way to London, I don't know. But uh, that's well, I'm hoping to do it the other way around, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they'll give you the same welcome as we have, but lovely to pleasure, meet you. Have pleasure. A great Thanks for everything.